guys, it's Hermie. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about high and low fashion with a heavy mix of thrift and vintage. So for today's video, I hit up the Goodwill. I got my coupon that just hit for December 1st, the first of the month. Um, and so I just wanted to do a little bit of shopping. I ended up going to a location close to my work. I haven't hit up this Goodwill in a while. I think it's good to let sometimes some of your locations breathe a little bit so you can see kind of what they restock and what's new. So I definitely had a good time there so I'm going to show you some behind the scenes of me just navigating the space and then I'm going to come back and do my full thrift haul on what I purchased. So I'm really just gravitating towards neutrals creams colors that's always what I go for. Uh, this coat looks just amazing I love the color. Um, definitely going to be trying this one on in front of the mirror. And just really going through the racks, um, not really my style, but just, you know, this is real leather. Um, so I'm noticing there's a lot of red you're gonna see um, in these racks, and I think it's because of Christmas, but definitely gravitating towards those red sections right now and just seeing what's there. Um, a lot of great stuff. Um, I really like this vest. I have something similar, but um, a really great one. Look at that bright red but just a ton of red. So when I go into the thrift stores, I pretty much just gravitate towards those sections where I see the red colors hanging from the hangers. And then I have a jacket similar to this, but I just wanted to show this, like this is such a cute jacket. And then of course, London Fog. I just wanted to show that you can find these name brands at the thrift store if you really wanna look and dig for those treasures. This jacket is interesting. The shoulders are wide, it's a little short. I gotta try it on, but it's interesting. And of course, going through the purses like I always need to. Um, this is a cute Brighton bag. I was standing next to a lady, she really liked it, so she went home with it, I gave it up. And then I really wanted to like this bag, the red, it's coach, but it had like food wrappers inside, you guys, and it literally had dead maggots in it. It was just, it was really, really gross. Check the bags. And then, yeah, so here's a try on. So I got this little red sweater. I thought it was super cute. This jacket, I wanted to love it. If it was longer, I would go home with it. But the shoulders were just too wide, so it didn't fit with my height. And I really like this jacket. I think it's beautiful. I think the color is really bright. It looks like French vanilla ice cream. And then I kind of paired it with this um, scarf right here because it kind of has that monochromatic look. And then I picked up this silver jacket, not really feeling it. And then yes to this men's button down shirt. I have some ideas around this one, which I will share. And then I came across these really cool jackets. Um, I wanted like this one, it had a really cool print, but it had something with teacher. So I didn't go home with this one. But look at this one, I just love the color on this one, the different patterns and the safari. I think it just has this great neutral color. And so you, you could just tell the difference of me just trying this one on compared to the other one. So that was a really fun trip. There was so much red um, attire in there. There was just a lot of goodies. Like this Goodwill was packed with a lot of stuff. And so I really like just filled up my cart and had a lot of try-ons as you guys can see in the behind the scenes video. But I came out with some really good goodies. Um, one of the things I'm trying to do is really be intentional about the pieces that I'm buying. And it's not that I haven't been intentional about them, it's just more of like, I feel like I'm honing more in on what I like, really filling in some of those gaps in my wardrobe and really um, leaving room to kind of play when I'm getting inspired with new things, if that makes sense. And so, I have a good stack here still. You guys know I love my Goodwill, but um, I'm going to show you some really cool pieces and I think you guys are really going to enjoy them. So the first piece I walked away with is this 80s vintage um, sweater vest. I really liked it. You guys saw from behind the scenes me trying it on. Kind of like these pleats and I'll do a photo here. I ended up getting this one for $6.99. 
Um, I did use a coupon, the 20% coupon, so a little bit less than that, but I really like this. And then when I checked, I admittedly, I really liked it. So I just kind of threw in the cart and knew I was going to go home with it. And I checked the price of it online or if I could find a comp and I'll put it right here, but $42, someone has one of these or selling an Etsy for $42 and I got this for $6.99. So this one definitely was a steal. Um, I just want to use this as a basic, you know, vest and how you would kind of just layer it on um, a button top or a long sleeve top or even a dress. So I'm really happy about this one. And of course, I love the color and the um, material is not itchy at all. This next piece I got is this Ann Taylor Loft. Um, just really simple thermal shirt. Admittedly, I wasn't going to go home with this, but I was just shy a couple of bucks out of hitting that minimum price in order to use a 20% Goodwill coupon. And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna throw this in because pretty much I get this for free then. So this was priced at um, $6.99. So similar to the red vest. Um, I really like the color. Actually, in one of my last hauls, I ended up coming home with a, a loft sweater as well. Um, so really loving the loft pieces that I'm coming across, but just a really simple um, thermal as a layering piece as we enter the winter season. As you guys know, I travel a lot to New York City, so always just need those leather pieces. What I liked about this too is how it has this like um, typical thermal material or texture, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but then it has this like very like cotton um, shoulder details right here, which I really like. Not sure if you could see that with the color here, but it just has like a different material here. And I love, of course, I love the crew neck. Um, I did check the comp on this one and I got this one pretty much for what you could find online, but I did see some of these priced really high. So between like $8 and 20 bucks, I would say is how you could get these online. So I definitely feel like it was a great find um, going into the Goodwill retail store. This piece is getting me really excited. So I showed myself trying this one on as well. Um, just it's a um, J. Crew vintage J. Crew, 100% cotton. You guys know I really love my materials when it's 100% cotton. You need that wool. Um, I really wanted this color. I'm gonna put an image here. I am in love with Jen Lyons. Just her style in general. But she had this scene. I'll put a photo here of her with um, a button down. It's the Mew Mew. Um, button down top where it's crop top and then she layered it and I just love that look so much. I do have a light color wash, I guess, how you explain it, button down crop top that I've already kind of done that style with, but I really just wanted this color and I found it. And so I think I'm going to keep it plain for now. The Mew Mew one has like, um, I think it says Mew Mew right here, if I can recall off the top of my head. And then it has kind of like rhinestones. I think I want to keep the look very casual and plain, but I might consider maybe putting something here on the pocket just to give maybe like an HF, like some of my, maybe my initials, but I'm still debating that right now. But overall, I do plan on cropping this and using this as a layering piece, similar to the photo example that Jen Lyons did. So when I came across this, this was on my thrift list and I found this color and I was just so excited. And then my fourth and final piece is this jacket. Yes, this Paco Sol, how do you say it again? Let me see, um, Paco Soler um, jacket. I looked these up online. These price ranges are crazy. They can go from like over $100, sometimes 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I got this one for $12.99 um, and then the coupon on top of it. So this was actually a really good deal for this one. Um, it does have some little imperfections. I'm not sure if you can see right here, but some little string, little loosey strings, but I'm going to use a nail cutter and just kind of clean it up. But um, there was two jackets and then you could tell that probably someone dropped them all together. But I really just loved the color palette of this jacket. I did a shorts of it and I got a lot of uh, really positive responses on this one. But in the video, when I do the trying, you could tell that like one's a little bit more of them, like the colors are bold, but it had like this, it said like number one teacher or something on the back of it. And so um, I was like, I have to go home with only one, so you gotta pick her me. But I really like this one. When I just like the muted, like natural color of the jacket, I love how it has this print right here around the color. So just the contrast between the patterns and the color. And I really did like this safari background here. So I just like how 
neutral it looks, but it's like funky and it has prints. But I was saying, as I looked at this jacket online, I'm just gonna try it on right here for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, I looked this up online and there are so many different designs of these jackets. Like um, they're called tapestry jackets, but just so many different designs. Like it's insane. So I don't really know the value of this one, but it being for $12.99, and seeing kind of the comps, I'll put some here on the screen. Like, I think it's a really good deal plus with the coupon. So buying it online, you're still gonna pay a lot more for it. But this, this just looks so cool. Like I just don't, I just think it could go with so many things. Like maybe not this shirt, but just like a casual jean. Um, I think it'll look great over the shoulder, even with the dress. I just, I don't know. It's just, it looks really different and cool. Uh, reminds me kind of like a grandma's couch, if that makes sense, but it's just, I don't know, it's unique and I feel like a really great talking piece and I really wanted to go home with it. The other one had, um, the other one that was there was in way better condition, but I was like, but that's probably why. They probably wore this one a lot more than that one, you know? And so I really like this. Um, another thing that I did notice, which I would never normally go forward with, but move forward with and purchase, but um, the buttons are missing too, or maybe it never came with buttons because I was looking at these jackets too and it looks like, they all have different buttons and just different designs because the other jacket that was at the Goodwill at the same time as this one, it had these really cute buttons that were like these brass frogs. And so then I was like, maybe is that like a signature button for this brand? Um, but it isn't. And so this one doesn't have any buttons on it, but you guys know I love a good brooch. I've been getting some really cool like safety pin looking ones. So I was even thinking like putting a safety pin here to kind of just jewel it up and kind of give that... Um, that aesthetic that I'm going for might be cool too, but I did notice there was no buttons. Did it come with buttons before? Have no idea. Um, but yeah, so this is my fourth and final piece. You'll see I didn't come with too much stuff. I had a stacked, a stacked cart, but I'm really trying to be intentional with the pieces that I'm coming home with. Not that I haven't been before, but one of the things that I thought I was going to regret that I didn't regret bringing home was the, um, the long, um, like French vanilla colored coat. I really was debating be between it and I was like, oh, I really, really like it. But it was priced for $49.99, which I was like, okay, let me check this online. Can I even get this online cheaper? And I could, like that was just ridiculously priced at the, um, at the store. So I was like, I'm not going to go home with it. And now that I'm home, I don't regret doing that. I just think like $49.99, like, Come on, like if it was like even like $25, I probably would have went home with it. Um, another thing is you'll notice in the background is, um, no, when I was going through the thrift store is the coach red bag. Like it makes you kind of even want to get sick thinking about it. But I really liked the bag because it was red and bold. And I was even thinking, I was, oh, this might be like a good like present for a friend because I have red bags. And it was just like, it was like a good size, especially for someone who goes to work every day if you need to just throw stuff in there. Um, maybe even like, um, just like, you know, just all the stuff you need when you're going to work in addition to like your 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 laptop bag. And I looked inside of it, cause I always do. You always have to look inside, you guys, look inside those bags. Um, I'll put some footage of the, of the, of the purse here again. Um, I didn't take footage of it inside, but it had like, I noticed it had like a lot of wrappers and things like that. So I was like, ah, oh, and then I looked in there and there was a couple of dead maggots. They were like all dried up. I know it's super gross, uh, but I just feel like I had to be honest with you guys. Like you got to check the purses. And I was thinking that's probably why my sister was like, my sister does not like um, buying bags at thrift stores. It's just like a thing that's kind of like me with shoes. That's my sister with purses. And I was like, this is why she doesn't like to get purses at the thrift store. So it's not to scare you guys or anything. I buy so many purses, but that one was like a first for me. And I've been doing this for like decades. And so I just, you know, check the purses, check them out, make sure they're clean. I'm telling you guys, like it hits me right here in the throat thinking about it, but it was like, it was just really, really gross. That's all I'm saying. So just make sure you check the bags um, every time you're buying them. Even when you're buying jackets and shirts and stuff, like peek in the pockets and stuff. You just, I mean, honestly, you just never know. I mean, it is thrifting. So that's why I'm just doing a show and tell and I'm not trying these fully on and doing full outfits because if you guys notice in my other videos, I wash everything before I put outfits together. I mean, I put this jacket on. I mean, I'll try them on at the store, but to fully do a full outfit, you know, put them on a hanger, you know, do these videos later on. Like I make sure I clean everything. So that's just my little, 
don't know, this is my little tip. Check the bags, check the pockets. Um, that was a first for me, hopefully the last, but I just, I wanted to let you guys know sometimes you gotta check those pockets. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, I hope you guys really like this video. As always, make sure you leave a comment below on what you liked, um, any tips and tricks or anything that you want me to help you guys out with. Um, and as always, I really appreciate if you guys like, share. I love this community. I really appreciate all the new people have who've been showing up in the last month. Um, it makes me really excited and I wanna make sure that I'm creating stuff that you guys really enjoy and wanna see. So really, really appreciate you guys. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening from wherever you're watching. And and of course, I'll see you guys again soon.